8 Reasons Why Your Automatic Garage Door Won't Open or Shut Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Reza and I'm so pumped that you are here. If this is your first time here, make sure you stick around so you don't miss any other tips and tricks to learn more, make sure subscribe below. There are many possible reasons why your garage door is not opening properly. If your garage door opener does not work or the door doesn't open all the way, you may need to replace part or all of it. To repair a garage door that's not opening, contact a professional garage door company that understands your door manufacturer. Before you learn how to fix a garage door opener, you have to understand why your garage door won't open. Sometimes, people unplug their power source and then wonder why their garage door opener fails to work. Sounds ridiculous, I know, but it does happen. Make sure that your garage door opener is plugged into a working outlet. Snap, bang, boom. That is the sound of a garage door torsion spring breaking. It can be a very loud noise that sounds like a firecracker or gunshot. Springs are rated for a certain number of cycles and are the first thing that will break in your garage door assembly. Broken springs are the first source of customer calls for garage door repair companies. This can happen to a newly installed garage door or an older one, if the sensitivity is set too low or high, the door will not open. Read the manufacturer's directions to reset the sensitivity. You can adjust the close force and limit switch to the correct levels, and you should be good to go. When your garage door doesn't open with the remote, a few things can cause this problem. You might be out of range. The antenna on the motor could be damaged or blocked from the signal, make sure it is hanging down from the motor. If the door opens with the wall switch, a simple battery change in the remote should do the trick. If all these fail, try reprogramming the remote. Just like on a bike sprocket, your cables can sometimes become disengaged. Often, when a torsion spring breaks, the garage door cable will snap as a result. Sometimes, the cable will cause damage to a vehicle or wall, and if a person happens to be in the way of the cable, it can cause serious harm. If your cables have snapped, you should call a professional to help you. Of course, if the door is off track, it won't slide properly. Make sure the door is rolling smoothly along its metal track. Check the track for bends, bumps, gaps, or obstacles. Listen to and watch the door's progress, do you hear any squeaks or areas of friction? Does the door seem to slow down or get stuck along the way? If so, you'll know that section of track is misaligned. To fix this problem, loosen the screws that hold the track to its frame, gently tap the track back into the proper position, then retighten the screws. A level and a rubber mallet might help. Every garage door opener comes with a disconnect switch cord or knob that allows you to work the door manually in case of a power outage. Check to make sure that you haven't accidentally disconnected the motor. If the door closes but then immediately pops open again, you'll need to check the limit settings, which help the mechanism determine how far to move the door to close it properly. If the settings are off, the door will hit the ground before the opener believes it should. 
it will assume that it has hit an obstacle and will automatically backtrack to avoid damage. Check the owner's manual or the buttons on the motor to adjust the limit settings. Don't forget to like and subscribe.